Alrighty, hey there folks, my name is Andrew Taranta and I'm back at you with another ASXC video. So today I wanted to go over a couple things. So if you bought obviously um, at my last price point, which was, um, I think the last time I made a video was about three weeks ago and we were talking, and I believe it was under $2, it was about maybe 1.5, 1.8, I think at its lowest, and um, I definitely did a lot of buying down there, um, so I'm seeing some really great returns right now, um, uh, so I'm definitely happy about that, uh, obviously that does raise my average up a little bit, but I think that's fine given this company, um, now I kind of want to just talk first about the newest news that came in, which was the fact that the um, the Ascensus Surgical is going to join the Russell 2000 and the Russell Microcap Indexes, which is um, pretty important. I think that's a very good uh, step, and I think it allows um, uh, new investors to kind of get involved. Um, obviously, I don't. I'm not a big fan of indexes. I've never been a big fan of indexes. Um, but uh, for those of you who do who do um, kind of uh, invest in indexes, you know, that might be a big deal for you. Um, personally, I don't, um, mainly because um, people don't know what they're buying and people don't know what they're selling, right? So when you join an index, you don't necessarily know every single company that's in it. And this is kind of how companies get on sale in the first place or get overpriced. So um, now that it's in an index, we just want to really keep our eyes super in onto the chart. Now, when we analyze this chart real fast, um, and I wish I had the other one. I don't know. I think I made it color in or something. I'm not exactly sure what I did. I guess this is a little bit better. No. I guess we'll just, we'll just stick with this. Yeah. Um, you know, trying to buy on the one-week chart just feels really, really hard right now. Um, it's just been on an absolute tear this week. Um, going up um, from 250 basically a 350 so it's be definitely had a very very solid week um over the last month too since earnings um it's really been skyrocketing so we've been seeing a lot of really great progress with asxc um and we're starting to see it kind of hop itself out of this trough now what i'm hoping for is another fall back down or something to that degree soon um i mean we could be on our way back up i really don't know i mean i'm at the point right now where i already know i have a great company i mean i'll buy at any point i mean you look at the five-year chart and i mean everything feels like a good buy on that chart um so yeah if you're willing to wait um you know we can definitely see that kind of on the five-year chart we're trying to see an extremely bullish pattern so i think people are definitely going to start investing heavily and uh that's kind of why i was really really kind of putting into like you know buy now buy now buy now um, but my, my next buying opportunity is most likely really whenever this company starts going down just a little bit. Um, I'm hoping to put, um, you know, a few hundred dollars into that. I'm not, not a high roller investor by any means. Um, I did make a decent amount of money, obviously, from the beginning of the year. I do only options trading. Um, so I definitely did, you know, make, make a, make a decent amount, but nothing crazy, nothing to write home about. Uh, but you know, it's still something that, and just because I'm not investing a ton of money also doesn't mean that it doesn't matter to me. Um, it, it is a big amount of money for me and my current net worth. I mean, I'm 24 years old. Um, you know, it, it's not like I'm just throwing, you know, X amount of money your guys' way and that's about it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm still putting in that effort to, to get to, to where I need to be. Um, now with that being said, uh, ASXC is, you know, a very solid company right now. I mean, we could see right, right off the bat, you know, we have a lot of really great, um, uh, indicators. Um, one thing that I want to keep an eye on though, for, in terms of buying is this thing called cost concentration, which I think is, a, is definitely an extremely impactful statistic to sort of focus in on, um, with about uh, a 90% cost concentration. I think when this like little green circle you see here, um, I can't zoom in on it, but it's right there with the cost concentration. And it, when, when, usually when that passes about halfway mark, that's a little bit nervous. Um, the 70% cost concentration as well, if that passes the halfway mark for sure, um, I definitely don't love that. Like, for instance, let's take something that shot up really quickly and kind of just use it as an example. So, for instance, AMC, right, at $55 a share. We go to the analysts on this. We go to the cost concentration, and we can see that, you know, it's very difficult to want to buy this. You know, what I mean, it's just it just greatly increases the odds that you might not be getting a great price. Um, but to be honest with you, if you look at the whole um, uh, surgical or medical field uh, doing really well, 
lately. Uh, medical supplies is up about um, 0.35% altogether. Um, I think that's about it. I really can't think of anything else. I mean, order book looks really fantastic. A lot of large-scale orders coming in, especially considering the, the upward movement. Um, so uh, we do see three green candles right here on the one month, which is really nice. So that's, that's an indicator of a good bullish run. Um, we see that on the three month. Um, we can see it just sort of, you know, re really being a good indication. You can see the last time this occurred, um, you know, we went on a pretty, oh, I'm trying to see maybe in the year. Yeah, I think the year is the last time we could see this. Sorry about that, guys. Um, and then the one, two, three, the window's open. The one, two, three right here um, is uh, indication of a pretty solid uh, start to that. So, yeah, I think, I think right here would be probably where it looks like we are now and i think it's going to be difficult to find that pullback um you know but the, the 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 truth of the matter is is let's say you stopped buying right around the three dollar mark right you know and you were like okay i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait you did have another opportunity to obviously buy again right over here in this trough so um i'm gonna wait to buy again right here because i have a feeling that this is going up too quickly for me to feel confident that this is the best price i can get short term um but if you're looking uh you know i mean if you're looking to buy i mean i just don't like buying on green days i, I just can't put myself to buying on a 16 percent day it's just not really something i can do so um just 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 some advice some and some analysts on my end that i feel like um, is definitely worthwhile to kind of share with you guys um and that's about it so we got into the russell uh i believe the other news is that there was um an annual meeting of stockholders and um i think that there was another article posted on the um the effic efficacy of uh, medical surgery and um and, and kind of surgeons feeling better about using their robots and the data and the data that's gathered and really that's the key word right there is data and i really want you guys to kind of walk away with that knowledge is that you know asxc the the the, the thing about the Senhan system that they use is that it does um, um it, it does collect data um on what what the surgery is doing and what's happening and it does allow for um, um a more comprehensive study going forward which which will improve um, patient outcomes which is really the the whole point of um, medical science in general is to improve patient outcomes so um, if we can invest in something and make it affordable which i think this enhanced system has done um, especially with one of their competitors isrg which by the way their, their main competitor which i consider their make it better isrg has been on an absolute tear over the last month or so or not the most months i'm sorry last three months or so um going from about 700 dollars all the way to 831 so they have done extremely well for themselves um up about 16 percent over the last three months so very very good investing um however you know it's still still in my opinion um a, an inferior product to the sun hand system so uh i'm excited i am i really am and i, I like i said even if you do buy right now um that's not also an awful time to buy so um you know i mean long term i think you'll be able to get you'll be able to be well over a 3.4 average um i'm just saying right now i just don't feel comfortable buying when it's gone up a hundred percent in the last month i do want to be logical and i want to be smart about when i'm buying um just because like right here is when i bought this made sense to buy right here um it just made the most amount of sense to buy when it was at this low point and that's kind of where i want it to go again and i know that it will because the market goes in cycles constantly um so it's just more or less a waiting game until i get that trough period again and sure i might end up having to pay maybe six dollars into the trough if it shoots all the way up right but at the same point in time at that point i'll have more money a because i'll make more cash by that point and b um, I'll feel more confident in that buy um, and I'll be able to position better um, with my options so and which which gives me more um, which gives me more uh, actually profitability uh, possibility just because um, I'm not uh, just kind of trying to predict the future um, in 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 um, or with, without any against the the, the, the the science of market psychology and um, I definitely want you guys to look into that um, look into market psychology graphs I, I'll try to see if I can't find a link for it leave it in the description and then you guys can check that out um, I don't have one on me I, I usually I have it in my messages I think somewhere deep in my messages I sent it to a friend but uh, I don't feel like looking it up right now, and I didn't prepare it for this video, so I'm not gonna look it up. But um, definitely look it up, maybe in the description if I if I can find it, or like a nice easy link and put it in from Google or something. 
Um, also, that's another cool little thing that I would definitely consider buying. Google's doing pretty great stuff and it has a pretty crazy moat. Um, but yeah, ASXC is definitely doing really well right now. Um, and I am going to make another video about a company that I'm actually shorting and I want to create a bear case for. And I want to bring that up to you guys. And if you guys are interested in shorting companies, please let me know. And uh, I will um, I will release that video soon. So actually, I'll probably do that video after this video just because I'll just bang them both out and post them both out on the same day. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it, guys. So Russell Index Indication, um, not a huge thing, not a bad thing, not a great thing, not an awful thing. Um, just sort of a thing and uh, it does once again going to um, if anything be um, somewhat detrimental at times just due to the um, unfortunate uh, aspect of indexes which means ASXC will go up um, uh, but it will also go down for no reason so it's definitely good to understand that as the indexes are by and large bought by people who have no idea what's in them so um you know i mean i'm happy but you know it's not really a huge news for me it's nothing that's crazy that changes the company even a little bit um so i, I think i think that's really the biggest news for me but i will kind of title the video i guess russell 2000 um inclusion just because it's the most recent news and it is um it's a little bit of a um a rite of passes i guess for the company, um, and a, uh, and a thumbs up from the analysts and people who, um, who do partake, um, in selecting those 2000 companies, they, they, they do, um, obviously, um, I would hope are doing proper research, um, and aren't just looking to momentum invest, which they might be doing, but, um, I think that, uh, uh that ASXC is definitely, um, worth, uh, being in, um, many indexes. I mean, it's one of my favorite stocks or it's, it's it is my favorite stock. So, um, I would put it in my index, um, but I don't really believe in indexes. So yeah, I think over diversification is basically the worst that you could do in the stock market. Um, d diversification of assets is very key, but over diversification in the stock market, um, is just going to reduce your possibility of returns. It's a lose, lose situation. Um, cause think about it. If you're right about the company, then you should have put more money in and, um, if you're um, wrong about the company, you should have never invested. So it's just trying to protect yourself from not doing the proper amount of research, which is why are you even investing then? Um, but yeah, guys, that's about it. Um, please join the Discord uh, and um, subscribe to my Patreon. Um, thank you for those who do. Um, I appreciate you guys. And uh, that's about it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And um, I, uh, I will see you next time. Bye.